Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch, and this is the second of 15 videos in the mobile weather app series. A link to the app website is in the description below, as well as the links to the other 14 videos in the series. In this video, we'll be getting our API key and testing it in the browser. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notifications for when new videos in this series and others are released. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you feel inclined to support my work, you can always buy me a coffee. I'll leave a link in the description below. No pressure though. In the introductory video, we went over what our completed app is going to look like. Let's start back at the beginning. I had this idea to create a weather app and went looking for a free API that we could use to search for a city and display the weather forecast for the next seven days. The API I chose is this one from openweathermap.org. I'll leave a link to it in the notes below. It's ideal because if we check the pricing, we see that there is a free tier that will allow us to get a daily forecast for seven days and that it will require the use of their one call API. In order to use the API, you'll need an API key. To get an API key, go to the sign in tab and click on create an account. Make sure that when you create your account that you check your email and verify it. Once you have an account, go and check out your API keys. Click on one of the tabs and then your account menu will show an option to view your API keys. You can create multiple apps and have different keys for each app. I'm going to choose the default one. And you should know that by the time you're watching this video, I will have deleted this key so you'll need to create your own key as this one will be invalid. I edited the name and called mine Mobile Weather for lack of a better name. Copy the key because you're going to need it. I suggest that you open up a text editor and paste it in because we're going to be using it shortly. You'll receive another email letting you know that your request is being activated. Now it can take anywhere from 10 minutes to 2 hours after you register for your API key to be activated. Return now to the pricing tab and scroll down to where you see a link to OneCall API. OneCall API will limit me to 1000 API calls per day. And that's not a problem for these purposes. So let's explore the OneCall API. This single API requires that we have to pass in the latitude and longitude of the location along with your app ID. This will retrieve everything current weather, minutely, hourly, daily, and alerts. There are two required parameters, one for latitude and one for longitude, of the location as well as our API key. We have one of those things already, our key. Now, I only want to retrieve daily forecasts, so I'm going to have to use the exclude parameter to exclude everything but daily. The units parameter will allow me to specify whether or not I want standard, metric, or imperial. If I don't specify one, standard will be used, and that's in degrees Kelvin. And who uses that? Anyway, I'm not going to specify a unit here. I'm going to take care of that in our project code so that I can switch units without having to make another call to the API. I'm also going to leave out the optional language code. I believe it defaults to English. And after you finish this video, you may want to add this in and expand your version of your app. First, you need to find your coordinates. In our project, we'll be writing a function that will use core location to find those for us. But for now, open up maps and search for any location. I'm going to search for my hometown. Once it's been located, Tap on the three dots and copy the coordinates. You can paste these in now below your API key in your text editor text file. We have everything we need now to create our URL. So I'm going to copy the API call from here and I'll paste it into the text file below my coordinates. And I'm going to replace lat and long placeholders with the latitude and longitude that I got from maps. For the exclusions, we're going to exclude all but daily, so I'll replace the placeholder with 
current, minutely, hourly, and alerts, making sure that there are no spaces between the comma and the different options. Finally, replace the API key with your key. Now open up a browser and paste it into the URL field and take a look at the response. If you get this error, go grab a coffee because it probably means that your API key hasn't been activated yet. If you get a JSON response like this, then we're ready to roll. Save the text file as we're going to need it in the next video where we'll be creating our model.